Mr. Duval, buenos días. Uh, how are you, sir? Buenos oh, días. Yeah. Buenos días. You, you uh, speak Spanish. Uh, limitado. <laughs> no. Not, Be, not very good. No. Ma, I limitado. remember, I remember yeah, that you also dance tango. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a good social dance, yeah. It's a social dance, a professional dance, and uh, uh, they dance in Colombia, too, quite a bit in your country, tango. Yes, yes, sir. We are supposed to be the second capital after Buenos Aires, Medellín, capital of uh, the tango and Carlos Gardel. Mr. Duval, uh, happy sorry, birthday. How... Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. How yeah. was your birthday, your celebration? Uh, very good. My wife's uh, birthday is the same day. We we celebrated it very quietly and uh, had a nice day together. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. How, how have you been your your life and have you been afraid of COVID? No. No tengo miedo. No, I'm not. I'm not afraid. It's uh, you have to be careful. But I'm not afraid necessarily, you know. It's a, it's a crazy habit. Is it pretty pretty prevalent in your country? Yeah, we have a lot of contagious, but uh, we are going to start uh, vaccines on uh, uh, February. So I think the situation oh, will be get be better. Uh, yeah, did that's you, great. That's, did you already great. have your vaccine? No, I didn't have one yet. Not yet. No, I took... Uh, I tested... Uh, a negative, but uh, I, I didn't take the vaccine yet. Not yet, no. But you're going to take Maybe. it? We'll see, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. So let's talk about about films. Uh, I understand that you have some projects. What ca can you tell us about your next movie? Well, there's no next because it's always the money. They have to raise the money. I'm supposed to do a Well, I'm going to do a movie with uh, Adam Sandler a very interesting guy uh, about basketball in the, in the spring. And then uh, uh, Ed Harris is going to direct a thing from a wonderful novel called uh, The Plowman. Well, it's a very interesting part for me, but uh, once again, it's difficult to raise money. Muy, muy difícil, muy, it's very hard, very hard to get money. So you have to wait, just wait, 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 you know. What's the word? Esperando, right? You wait. <laughs> bueno, Julio, nos cuenta que su vida con COVID ha sido muy tranquila, no tiene miedo, celebró el cumpleaños con su esposa, callado, se pasaron el día juntos, dice que no se ha vacunado, que el examen, la prueba le salió negativa y va a ver si se la pone en el futuro. Habla sobre sus nuevos proyectos, la próxima película dice que todavía no están aseguradas porque están esperando la financiación, está trabajando una película con Adam Sandler y pues están esperando esa eh, financiación para los próximos dos proyectos. Que tiene. El Padrino 3. El Padrino 3 acaba de cumplir. I hear the best Spanish in the world is spoken in Colombia. Is that true? Yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say. Yeah, I think it's true. I think it's true. Very beautiful, yeah. Okay. Have you been back in Buenos Aires? I haven't been in about six or seven years. I used to go a lot, but I, we haven't been in a long time. Uh, you know, for certain, you know, certain reasons, we just haven't gone. Uh, uh, Luciana, uh, Luci, Luciana's family is in the, is in the northern Argentina, but uh, and I, I love that. That's probably my favorite city anywhere is Buenos Aires. I like it very much, but we haven't been lately. Sí, no ha vuelto hace seis, siete años. Luciana tiene su esposa, tiene su familia al norte de Argentina. Mateo, ¿le escucha Robert Duval? Julio, ay, Mateo, ay. lo que quería preguntarle es con respecto al Padrino 3. Como usted bien sabe, cumplió 30 años en este diciembre que acaba de pasar. Yo sí quisiera saber y entender el por qué nunca hizo parte de la tercera parte, a pesar de que estuvo en la primera y en la segunda. We wanted to ask you about The Godfather in its third edition. Um, as you know, in December it was its 30th year anniversary, and you were part of The Godfather 1, Godfather 2, but you never were a part of Godfather 3. And we wanted to ask you why. Why was that? Dinero. <laughs> Money. <laughs> They didn't want to pay. 
They didn't want to pay, you know, but uh, it just didn't work out, you know. I have a good relation with Coppola. He's a, he, you know, at best, he's a great, great world-class director, but it just didn't work out for that particular film. So, you know, you know that's, that's the way it was. It was a, a lost opportunity, but it didn't work out, so I don't feel the worst for it. It's fine. Yeah. Bueno, nos dice que fue por dinero, por plata, no le querían pagar, simplemente el proyecto no funcionó, tiene una gran relación con Coppola, es un gran di eh, director, pero se perdió simplemente esa oportunidad. Yeah, right. Y por otra parte, me gustaría saber cómo fue ese encuentro con Martin Sheen, él fue el protagonista de Apocalypse Now, y están trabajando en una, en una nueva película que se llama Twelve Mighty Orphans, ¿cómo fue ese reencuentro después de tanto tiempo? speak about um, how was that uh, you know reunion with Martin Sheen you guys worked together in Apocalypse Now and now you're working in another movie 12 Mighty Orphans how was that reunion with Martin Sheen it was very brief but very very lovely very nice simpatico it was really nice to see him again after all those years I hadn't really had contact with him at all since then since way back, but it was very nice. Uh, we had a grand embrace, a great embrace. Yeah, it was nice. Fue corta, fue bastante agradable, le gustó poderlo ver de nuevo después de tantos años porque no habían tenido contacto para nada después de tanto tiempo. Eh, señor Tubán, what do you think about Netflix? About what? Netflix. Oh, you mean the, the, the outlet for films and television and everything? Controversy uh, between a very famous uh, uh, producers and uh, directors about Netflix. And I would like to know your opinion of Netflix. Well, yeah, well they, they give money. They give money to people to make films. So, and yeah, and, uh, some of them are good. I watch some of them and enjoy them. So, but I don't have a, you know, a particular... Uh, slant or point of view of, of, of that, you know, I'm just a, I'm a hired hand, so to speak, you know, when I do work, so... Bueno, les da dinero a las personas para hacer películas, algunas de ellas son buenas, dice que las disfruta y no tiene como un punto de vista así muy fuerte sobre eso. Right, Grace, right. mi abuelo siempre dice que el truco para mantenerse saludable es seguir trabajando. Nuestro invitado tiene 90 años, está trabajando en dos películas. Y yo quiero preguntarle que si esa es la razón de repente que él cree que lo ayuda a seguir bien, que siempre tiene cosas que hacer, razones por las cuales vivir. Mr. Duval, my grandfather always says, he's a couple of years younger than you, that one of the reasons he thinks he keeps healthy is because he has reasons to wake up, he has work to do. Do you think that's one of the things that has that has helped you you know you're 90 and you are awfully great in terms of how you sound and the work that you're doing well you know I'm ready to work if something comes along concretely but once again things don't materialize without uh, the proper financing and uh, and uh, to, to give the green light so to speak so uh, there's a lot of waiting around and uh, See what happens next, you know. Que sera, sera, you know. I uh, am just uh, a human being uh, who's had a nice career, but uh, if there's anything in the future, it's uh, it. Uh, I'll see what happens. It's all uh, all has to do with the financing. Yeah. Él está listo para trabajar a sus 90 años, pero para que las cosas se materialicen necesita financiación para que se le dé esa luz verde de que pueda salir adelante. Es mucha espera para espera, para ver qué pasa. Y él es un humano que tuvo una carrera muy buena eh, y si viene algo en el futuro vamos a ver qué pasa. ¿Qué, qué, qué, tan, grave, qué tan grave cree él que va a ser el impacto de, del coronavirus sobre la industria del cine por el cierre de salas y todo lo demás? How big do you think it's going to be the, you know, the effect of the pandemic, of the coronavirus, in the industry, in the film industry? I mean, well, the it's, movie it's, theaters it's, closed they have, for... They have to be careful. I mean, uh, they're making films now, but with, uh, with uh, certain precautions and certain limit, uh, you know, limits that are put upon them. But... Uh, 
they are, they are, they are making films now, you know, that, uh, but uh, different states have different regulations, but, you know, nothing will stop not the movie industry completely because it's too, it's too much in demand and too, too omnipresent to, uh, to be put down by this virus, but still, People have to be careful and they have to follow certain regulations and certain rules, which they do. You know, each state is different, but they they do, uh, you know, people are aware and have to be aware of, of, the, of those specific limitations. Yeah. Mr. Dubal, in all surveys that uh, we see in a uh, Hollywood Reporter, The Variety, Rolling Stone, different magazines, they always do uh, the same survey. Yeah. Which are the best movie in the history? And always The Godfather is in the top five. Do you think so? What are the other four? <laughs> uh, dep depends who is well, doing the I mean, list. Yeah, for, for American films and worldwide too, you know. Whenever I watch, especially Godfather 2, uh, I, I, I can never stop watching that. But they're, they're wonderful films made now. What's the film I just saw uh, in uh, Spain uh, recently? Uh, It was, uh, I forget the name of it, it was a wonderful, wonderful film about uh, somebody getting even. I forget the name of the film. What, what's the verb in Spanish for, for getting even or pay, paying back somebody that's done you wrong? I forget, the, I forget the, but it was a wonderful, I saw it about a week ago. Just a wonderful film, so to say the best, it's hard to say, but, but uh, Godfather One and Two in particular were just brilliantly directed films by Francis Ford Coppola just just beautiful films beautiful beautiful yeah, yeah. Mr. Duval have a good time have a happy new year say hello to your wife Luciana and uh, anytime yeah. you go back to Buenos Aires please stop in Bogota, Colombia uh, that's yeah that's what didn't Carlos Carrell die there yes he died in Medellin in, in, in Colombia In Colombia, yeah. It's the yeah, second right. biggest, largest city in Colombia, Medellin. Yeah, Medellin, yeah. No, I hear it's a beautiful country. I hear the big pampas, the big fields have the big the big jaguar cat that lives in those caves in Colombia, all along there uh, in, the, in the big fields, in the mountains. It must be beautiful. Yeah. Mr. Duval, so, thank you for, for this time with you, and Happy New Year. Thank you, and, and igualmente. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Adios. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.